Oh, I was worried I'd have to turn to farming. <laughs> yeah, sure hope you're here for me. Are you Wells? And Jackie, por favor. I'm V. Seems you have cargo that needs to be moved. Oh, where I'm from, you share a bit about your soul before you talk biz, eh? It's kind of like a custom. Or just good manners, you know? Why don't we start with you, then? NC native, right here. Got Haywood in my blood. I've never been to NC. That doesn't mean much to me. So, imagine a place where everyone's like your bro or sis. Or a distant cousin, at least. <laughs> I think I understand. You don't have to like each other, but it's family. That's Haywood. That and everyone's back in iron. And you? I guess one could say I'm from my own Haywood. You and me, we're gonna get along fine. The cargo. What's inside? You sleep better the less you know. Got no idea myself, and that's a good thing. You don't know what we aim to smuggle? These are stolen corporate goods. Stolen? No. Oh, some gonk lost the crate. Some other gonk found it, passed it on. Now it's here. You know, butterfly effect or whatever. And there's no one looking for this crate? Ain't a problem if they look. Only a problem if they find it before it crosses the border, no? Let's load it in the car. Oh, we will. started thinking you might not come. I got held up. And you weren't exactly easy to find. I decided to lay low, you know? The sheriff he looked like one grouchy motherfucker. Yep. Ugh. What a fat ass. Headed out? Do you have the manifest from the transport? Of course I do. But the fixer didn't give you the job deeds? He... he did. I was just making sure. Listen, friend. We're both professionals, ain't we? Hey, you, uh, sure you've moved contraband before? Why, are you nervous? Me? Scan us and check our papers. <sighs> okay. I'll do the talking. Please direct your vehicle to the inspection area. Remain in your vehicle. The security check will begin shortly. I got a real bad feeling about this. You know they'll notice if you're nervous, right? You have to calm down. Right, right, yeah. Hand me the manifest. Don't need to see it. Grab these. Let me see. <laughs> it's marked LOA. Perfect. What's that mean? Lost on arrival. It means the cargo is flagged as to be lost as soon as it crossed the border. Oh, so they know we're smuggling? They're about to find out. The owner of the vehicle in the inspection area will report for further questioning. <sighs> Chingana madre. What now? I want the customs officer to turn a blind eye to our dubious docus. We'll need a sweetener. Do you have the credit chip with the bribe? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that. You are now leaving 
Right. You forgot. I'll keep the engine running, in case of a cock-up. Do that. Proceed to customs without un If you're armed, place your weapon here. Now please report to room number two. Please sit. Papers. I know the rules. Everything's there. It might be. It might not be. We'll see. Hmm. What are you transporting? It's all in there. Everything? There's one additional enclosure to the manifest. Ah, yes. Remind me, you drive for which Nomad Clan? I don't think that's any concern of yours. Is that what you believe? You know, whenever I see someone like you, I'm oh so grateful not to be on that side of the table. The feeling's mutual. Go on now. Your associate's waiting for you in the car. Don't forget to take your personal items. Be careful with that toy. And welcome to Night City. Those little shits imagine Night City is some kind of paradise. What can you do? Young, naive, which is just a euphemism for ignorant. What happened in there? I'll tell you soon. We need to get out of here. Yeah, okay. You gonna tell me what happened back there? <laughs> Let's say I have a bad feeling about this. Oh. Happened a lot to you? Rarely. Smelling trouble around the bend? Drive, Jackie, just drive. Someone's coming our way. This does not look good. Stop your vehicle immediately. Let's get out of here. On it. You are transporting contraband that is corporate property. I repeat, stop the car. Damn.
nerves can handle this. Keep driving. We can't stop here. Place looks deserted. I'm gonna stop here. Need to sort out a few things before we go on. hijo de la chingada madre! They almost tagged our asses. Is that what you call smuggling? Chicago! We're supposed to go smooth. No problems. If you think this is my fault, at least have the balls to say so. I don't know yet. Is it? Border security tipped off the corporation that we have their cargo. What's the deal with these borderlies flipping us the finger as they fucking please? With no consequences. He took a risk. He assumed we didn't have a clan backing us. And he was right. <sighs> so what now? I could ask the same question. Will you keep whining, or will we put a bow on this thing? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a bit light. I can't pay you now. I have something for you once I collect my scrap for this corporal crap we're carrying. Huh. And you just figured I would sit by patiently. Actually, I wasn't gonna pay you at all. Just gonna bust ass and disappear as soon as we crossed over, but you're all right. I appreciate the honesty. Yeah, thanks. So, what's next? Now we take a peek inside. Open it. Ah, oh, shit. It says Arasaka on the crate. We are robbing some heavy hitters. And maybe we'll make some heavy money. Oh, mames. A real iguana. A, uh, lesser Antillian, I think. Lesser Antil what? Yeah, I watched a thing on TV about them. Went extinct like 30 years ago. They're from the Lesser Antilles. You come a long way, my scaly friend. Think you can make some money on it? Sure. Think it'll make us happy. Us? Yeah, partner. We'll go half seas. Any decent fixer will find a loaded gonk interested in a rare gem like this. It's kind of a shame, though. I always wanted a pet. Got the name Manny all thought out. Hey, by the way, you uh got any plans for what you'll be doing in Night City? Why do you ask? Because I got this feeling you got a lot of time and nothing to spend it on. And then see, ain't a city that lets you get by without buddies. But don't you worry. Let me help you find Diggs. You gotta live somewhere. It's important to have people you can turn to. You know, like uh, family. Maybe you'll find your own down in Night City. I never said I needed help. Hey, come on. It's nothing. We got chemistry, you and me. Be a crying shame to waste it. Partner. Hey! Aw, cuddly little fucker. You know what, Jackie? You're not all bad yourself. <laughs> you don't mean that, mano. Okay, partner. Time to grab the lizard and scurry out of here.
orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her. Every new day here means a hundred new arrivals. But only half these gongs will survive a year. And that's if it's a good one. And why do these peeps come to NC? Well, to be street samurai like Morgan, Black Hand, and Waylon Boa Boa. The greater the risk, the bigger the party, kids. Or so they say. But you can only be a major league player for so long. The faster you live, the faster you burn out. Know where you'll find most of them? The graveyard! <laughs> matters not where you're from, matters not where you start! What matters here is the walk you walk! In Night City! The City of Dreams! The chick we're looking for is somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Eyes and ears open, all right? Speaking of which, got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR? Militech? Jack, we're talking classified military grade shit here. How'd you get it? T-Bug. And our girl made a couple adjustments. Why? Think she knows better? Nah. Said it didn't suit her, uh, style. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Sure. Why the hell not? Let's begin with basic combat training. This session will be recorded for subsequent evaluation. This course is designed to reinforce your fundamental combat abilities and hone your reflexes. The skills you gain here will help you survive, even excel on the battlefield. I will train you to be effective with firearms, to use stealth tactics to your advantage, and to hack into enemy networks. Because at Militech... Man, Militech can't encrypt for shit. But they clearly got drilling jarheads in their blood. Now, station one, you maggot! Move, move, move! Hope you're ready to bust ass through this fascist playground. Let's blast through a tactical target practice program. You know, a little warm-up. Yeah, I didn't think you'd find that too tough. What do you say we crank it up a notch? Not bad, but it's more realistic if the target's packing iron. Quit standing around and take cover! You 
took a hit. Use a reanimator to patch yourself up. Head to the training area when you're good to go. Oh, look. We brought some tombs with him this time. You know what to do, Z. Stand on the platform and we'll move on. Ugh. Hacking's the next item on the menu. Might notice I tweaked the course material a bit. This training module will teach you how to apply technological tools to combat situations. Work a little hack magic on the screen to distract the guard. Corpo trash. Style over substance. Good. Now take him out quietly. All right, all yours. Take him out. Never smart to leave behind any trace of your handiwork. Especially the dead kind. Now pick up the body and hide it somewhere. Okay. Now, try to take him down in one slick move. Think you're ready to try hacking some gonks in real time? Have fun!
Now, detonate the grenade. needed to shut your brain down and follow orders in true Militech fashion. Under my wise command, you can run. Got additional modules if you want to hone any other skills. Or you finish up, dealt out now. But remember, the street's not going to give you any hints or second chances. Well, we doing this? Right. So first, let's shape up those stealth skills. Find cover, quick. <laughs> nice, nice. Now, move slowly towards the exit. Stay out of sight. Well done. On to the next area. Now the same thing, only with the camera. Back to your training, recruit. Nice work today. Just stand on the platform to exit the... Dessert. Then we wrap this party up. Time to get down and dirty in close quarter combat. Take them down, but careful. Looks tough.
Back to your training, recruit. Okay, that'll do. Now maybe we find someone closer to your weight class. Let's bump things up from easy to normal. This next fool can block your attacks. Dull bit coming up now. Blocking blows instead of dealing them. Now this fool loses his footing every time he swings. Use that. Get in there and land a counter punch. Want to see this fool punch an air next? Don't let him land anything. You've done well in mastering the way of the fool, young apprentice. 
I can teach you no more. This is the part where you face your final test. Let's move on to melee weapons. Grab a sword. Now show me what you've learned. Like you're cruising already. Hop on the platform. So? Not bad, huh? Now we can get down to biz. Will Kako give you any tips and tricks for the job? I'm not your mother. Just do what I pay you for. It's easy work. Sha. Let's do this. Elevator. This way. Target's Sandra Dorset. 
Target's Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Calm the hell down, both of you. Almost there. Yeah, Bug. You focus. Looking for 1237. Target should be inside, but I got zero eyes on her biomon. Fingers crossed it's not too late. Is that you? Oh, I hate this life or death shit. Hurry, try hacking the door. Think you can trip it on your own, V? Sandra Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo Immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix ups. Not our lucky gal. Let's keep a looking. Big on that prima. How dare you apply? Hey, bitch! Oh. If I use a mod! Tubes here! Scabs are still crawling. Clean it up, clean it out. Don't want to be bringing the target out of the fire. Definitely don't want to slow you to death. No way. Yes, Not neither. Yeah!
where you're hiding! End him! Ugh. You will find cabrones! happening? Rip up this! Where'd you go, Black? I killed! Going down! I don't see any movement on the sensors. Looks like you got them. You're clear to go. Shit, where the hell's our target? Look around. Gotta be there somewhere. Should be. I mean, I gotta stop. Think I got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? About to find out. V, jack into our biomod. Need to know what we're dealing with. <sighs> Jacking this in. Does not look good.
Sandra Dorset, NC570442. Trauma Team Platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neural port. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomon. Is that even safe? Can we just get her out of here? We found her still breathing. Can't lose her. We need that biomon working, checking for hemorrhages, whatever. Find that shard and yank it. Found the shard. Removing now. Check the biomon. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon claims trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. Oh, fuck. She's flatlining. B, need to know what's going Jackie, on. Jackie, air hypo. Fuck, this is bad. Hey, catch, vato! I think... Holy shit, it worked. Fuera, cabron. Get her outside. Fuera, get her out. Terrace. Jack, but don't get used to it.
saving my ass, V. Thank you. How about I drive you home, huh? She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako in the hollow. Tell her the job's done. well. Trauma team took her off our hands. She'll recover. Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, give it right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you're to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Words out the NCPD is gonna put Watson on lockdown. If I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight, we better put it in fifth. Leave it to me, Mano. Can't stop digging Night City. City like any other, just bigger. Nah, mano. Not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand, Andrew Wayland, Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. Man, I'm starving. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie. They're locking down Watson, remember? Oh shit, man, you're right. Is it just me, or...? Oh, I fucking knew it. Man on her ass, tailing us. Chingado. I don't like this, Bean. One tiny bit. God! Hijo de puta! Fucking drive, Jackie! Come on, V, shoot! Can't! Keep her steady! Scratched your baby up pretty bad. It's okay. Sorry. It can wait. Let's just focus on getting home. Thank you. 
Damn. We're pulling out all the stops. Watson's on lockdown to further notice. Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am! Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your... girl? Uh-huh. I mean, I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. Is she giving me a chance? Waiting. Hmm. That's a shame. Let them through. But they're the last. Okay, on your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. She took a liking to you. The devotion I demonstrated grabbed her by the gun. Right. I'm loyal, stable in my affections. Mm-hmm. And unassuming. You get it. Ain't your average badges. That's Magstack. NCPD's apex predators. MTAC rolls in when things fly out of hand. Gonks out there, though. Just a midday snack for them. Well, show's over. Poor bastards. But they had it coming. Made it. Almost at your place. What about you? Not likely to make it back to Haywood now. Chill V? They'll let me through. Sure about that? Oh yeah. I'll play nice Jackie again. dreams then tell Misty I said hi I will I luego has shown many have been corrupted with Good evening, Night City! My first guest tonight is the president Bug. of the church... Forgot of earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zip in your deeds. Pray and speak to me. Some kind of scam. Gonna have a word with the super. Oh, yeah.
I might have caught something when I jacked into that corpo's bile mine. Don't know, uh, neurovirus, sir. Need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Throw on some threads, meet me downstairs. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. You could even call me a collector. Later, B. You like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next gen ass whooping. He did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of V. <laughs> so, how about it? Where'd you get him, Fred? Off the street. Saw him looking up at me with these big, sad eyes. So, I took the poor pup in, fed him, clothed him. <laughs> nah. For real. He's a military bot. Got a sweet deal. And a truma mine tossed in a few upgrades. Now, here we are. How's it going? Fight's about to start. I'm gonna watch. Take notes. Malone versus Hernandez. <laughs> nah. Our chrome friend here don't watch TV. Don't talk, neither. Only way he communicates is with them fists. Nah, not today. Thanks anyway. Whatever. I'll be here. B, sweet little 45's waiting for its daddy. First after every shot. Let's have a look. Thanks a lot.
anybody home. hour. <laughs> Jeez, took you long enough. Worked up an appetite, just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Signor Vector. That's just something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet-ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat-ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated coup. How'd you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You and me? Oh. But t -Buck, she's the one that hooked us up, got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal? Riding on you now, I see. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. All Dex says he needs to check you. Talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm saying? Oh, really? No. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling, saying you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nifty tool for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit pie their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. Gracias, Dios. Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust-off with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. I'm glad to Some top-notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. Air. 
stop. Ripper Duck. And Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vix anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know? This is it. Come on, V. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. Neither do you. See you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. Skip town for a while, please. Oh, because I am always makes for easier living. But we got a new job lined up. Oh, is it gonna be dangerous? Vicky, surprise every old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. Oh, wow. What do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshaun. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But? Something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit. But tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later. With interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Roshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now, Jack in. Kuroshi? 
Whoa, Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm, sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Mark 1, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your faces a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. <laughs> Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Same as always. Don't feel a thing. You ask me that every time, you know? Not as if things are gonna be any different today. Sure thing, kid. I mean, not like there's any risk of a stroke or paralysis, but <laughs> what do I know? I'm just a doctor. That's what I thought. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? 
Seen more dramatic improvements before. Patience, kid. Give it a minute. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust. But first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stim. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now every last fighter's got extra skull lining. Absorb 75% of every blow. Got cash riding on this? Nah, just looking. <laughs> it's out of habit more than anything else. Miss it, don't you? Ah. Uh...
Chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. Anything. V, else. yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyberpsychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to and I'll send someone to pick them up. You truly I hope believe that's all clear. That those who have sold you your mechanical eyes have resisted. Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? Is some sort of test? Eh, just a pet topic of mine. You mean... riddles? No, Mr. V. Ontology. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could've had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could've just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. 
Surely that's no problem. No, no problem. Just a death sentence. NC's Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with them here. What can I say, Mr. B? High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Besides that, I'm no leadhead. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow because we're gonna do this clean and on the hush-hush. We understand each other. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, to rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of higher-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat-out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Royce guy. What's he like? A straight psychopath. Chrome-loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that. Except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop. Then the rest goes goulash. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Klein, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life? Or a blaze of glory. Hmm? Later now. Jackster. Talk to Dex. <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. 
There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the Gangoons had a switch up in management. Right, right. Heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha! <laughs> You don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. Must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Parker. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. What I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Hasta luego.
T-Bug sent me. Said you'd have something for me. You're V, right? She had me hold the demon for you. It should work on any third gen deck. Got a Militech power line. Think it'll do. Mm. Solid gear. For a beginner. Okay. Glad to grab a demon always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. You might extract some shimsoft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way.
Hey, how's it going? Scavs give you a lot of trouble around here? Some days, sure. Other days, eh, not so much. But me personally, well, they know better. We're gonna buy some new iron. A few dozen pounds. Well, be my fucking guest.
Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Auteur stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. Literally know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch, it's a warning. I'll give you one word. Bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Think you can handle it? You know what? Maybe another time. Sure thing, stud. Reconsidered, huh? Bespoke? Damn, that sounds promising. I get it, I'm in. Mm-hmm. Couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, input. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. She's here. Who's asking? Big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture. Truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Since on, only tequila I drink. <laughs> How do you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on, no place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. So, what can a horny girl like me? Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling.
You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? No, just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere. Not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Tell me you're one of them? Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why's that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Intel. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, Now's the time to show him. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Wait, neutral Netwatch is mixed up in this. Netwatch provides net security for all corporations, and collects eddies in the millions for it. But, in this day and age, everyone's in the game, and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. So, what's your Nobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens, and I get the chip. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... 
You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant. Entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, B. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. Okay. What's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> I think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits. Jacking off to in those boxes. No. They can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted. Doesn't grasp exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. <laughs> what are you doing? BD rec implant. Why, you object? No, not at all. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. <clears throat> hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD roll. And V? This is Judy, best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. You're gonna make me barf. Hey, Judy. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? What do you mean by raw? How's this differ from the ready mates? Huh. Ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass-market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced-in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Viro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Create your sensory profile first. A what profile now? A model of your perceptions and emotional responses. Need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. 
probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue environment. Mm-hmm. And worst case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. But we're not about to let that happen. Nuh-uh. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still, look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm hmm Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Get a lot of requests like this? All the time. But it's usually stuff the girls scroll at the club. I take that and do some routine porn tuning. Crank up the orgasms? More like cut out all the other shit. Fucking's business as usual for these guys. Their minds wander to grocery lists, spouses' birthdays, late bills, whatever. But even then, you can refigure things, mold the emotions into something unique, unforgettable. So, I can't complain. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. What you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. Real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly, though. You ready? Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in and... Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Everybody! On the ground! What I see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now! Or I will fucking drop you! I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. That flash of... intense shock. I can still feel it, I remember. Fuck, that last second. You could've warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. 
Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Got it, got it. Roll it back to the top. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, yeah, and sell me to go And if you want they'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, where you go? Okay, right here. Excellent. Let's move on. Now, heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now, you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Pack of cigs, case of brosif, and a couple of zappers. Okay. We have with you today are two flavors. Cuddy and yeah. surf and Everybody! Oh. So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Okay. Okay. Fuck! On you go. Ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, okay. eh? We have. Deal today are two flavors. Cuddy and yeah. surf and Everybody! On the ground! What I see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now! Or I will fucking drop your sh Lord of God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! 
Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the rollers fiberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared. Meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. <laughs> Hello nice. Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a nut injection. See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? Dunno, I... Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, 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 who? Runner for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Relax, Judy. Everything will be fine. You don't quite grasp the risks I took by letting you in here while I'm risking poking around with this stuff. We're all taking risks here. That's the job. So either T-Bug patches in, or I'm on my way out. Judy, please. Fine. Call her. Let's get this over with. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Kunpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Kunpeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Unimportant, T-Bug. Please focus. Need your help. Got no clue what I'm supposed to look for once I'm in. Alright, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking it to your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my requests... now. Got it. You ready? A millisecond. Okay. 
Connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire up, Judy. All right, V. Eyes open. Gotta find out where your Nobu's keeping the relic. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn. She... I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But uh... make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to... Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Finish. We shall see soon enough. My father is a tired, visionless old gray beard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever. In his tiny, frozen bubble. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot. Wow, champagne's decent. removed from reality. Taste boosted somehow? Stuck in some nope. fossilized vision of a world Same bubbly, you'll that be no longer in real exists. Soon. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we won't now. Not it. Enough. Hmm. Hung up. Go back to when they first start talking. Need to hear the whole thing. Ah. Sorry to make you wait. Business. Can't be stupid. Hmm. It wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense. Edgy. A moment. It will pass. I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me? Only one. Focus. On me. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom. Nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Very nice, but come here already. Just a sec, looking for the perfect thing. Ah, you'll like this. Oh, fuck. It's like I'm really... V, eye on the prize, focus. Warikome. I miss this. You. I know.
fuck will meet, are you? Camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. <laughs> Alarm firmware's fresh, but. Saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Fuckable meat, are you? I said no. Candy left? Step was Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally, no way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Can't get around them ourselves? Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. We're here to get fun last time. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Manual details a special temp-controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. A drone, ventilation and cooling, servers, gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's involved. a tired, visionless old greybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny, frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists, of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we won't now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must not provide them. Enough. Already found those docks. Look somewhere else. Some. 
Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. The program is still in the trial. It cannot take it long. Right. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Yorinobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. We shall see soon enough. Just a fancy-ass fridge. The killer interest in this project is... My father's attire. Air conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. Get everything you need? Yep, that'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Relax, I got it all under control. You fuck up and they come knocking on my door. Judy, relax. That's not gonna happen. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. V, one sec. Let's walk. Well, what do you think? You're not worried? Our sock will flag and screen anyone who's had dealings with Yorinobu. Oh, they'll have a long list then. Packed full of big names. Much bigger than mine. You tell me who they check first. 
Corpo hotshots and cutthroats, or a little bedroom plaything like me. Intel on Yorinobu, the chip, the BD from Compeki. Winds are right. Plan's perfect. Job like this comes one in a million. Hmm. Thanks. Now the punchline, please. Just sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Cold feet. Are you looking to get out of it? I want to know if you're really in control here. You're not sending me into the sort of shit I can't wait out of. V, I have zero reasons to haze you. We're in this together. Really. Trust me that I got this. So, what now? V, do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. You want to fuck over our fixer? I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman. And a useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows. And actually follows. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. A mistake like that will cost you your rep. And without a rep, you're nobody. You sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? Your choice. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay, for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. <sighs> Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. And the flathead? Nothing yet. On it now. T-Bug says no chance of that ship without that buy. To work then, Mr. B. Going in or staying out? <laughs> 